there YouTube, there's a thunderstorm coming so I'm going to try and beat it. It is July now, holy crap, it's July, where did 2013 go? But since it's July, that means it's time to do my June favorites. These are all the things that I loved in the month of June and I'm going to share them with you now. Last month I talked about how I was obsessed with Frappuccinos from Starbucks, but they were really unhealthy and really expensive. But this month I have discovered a new Starbucks addiction, and that is this. This is lemonade iced tea. This is the black tea, and it is sweetened, and it is very delicious, and it's better for you. Maybe not that much better, but at least it's not chocolate, and it's a little bit cheaper. This is the venti size, so it's a little more expensive. I try not to get this all the time, but like if I'm at work and it's really hot, then I'll get one of these. You all know that I love boy bands. Like, my entire life I've been a boy bands fan. And judge me all you want, but I love boy bands. And my current favorite boy band is Big Time Rush. They released a CD in the beginning of June, and it is this one. It is 24-7, and I love this CD. I have literally listened to pretty much nothing else this month. I think there have been like two or three days where I've listened to music that was not this CD. It is such a good CD. Big Time Rush has really been overshadowed by like One Direction, but like really give Big Time Rush a chance if you like boy bands. They are so energetic and enthusiastic about what they do and their fans and they're just like, you can just tell that they're super genuine. 24-7 is a CD filled with amazing, fun boy band pop. It's It makes me so happy. And I get to see them next week in concert and perform some of these songs. So that'll be really, really fun. I actually don't know if this book is my favorite of the month, but it is the only book that I finished and have really, really been reading. City of Bones from the Mortal Instruments. Saga series by Cassandra Clare. Who read this book and they really liked it and there's a movie coming out in August so I thought I would pick up the book because the trailer looked really interesting and normally I like to read the book first. Overall I would say that City of Bones is really good. It gets kind of stale and slow in the middle of it but the end has this huge huge twist that I was not expecting and it just kind of blew my mind a little bit. It seems like it's a really thick book but it's a really fast read and it's a really fun read. Um, it reads very easily so it took me like a day or two to read this. For my fashion favorites of the month I really don't have much clothing wise but I do have some accessories. The first one is this bracelet. It says love on it and it's mint green and I got this free um, at my job. Um, because I work in an accessory store and it's kind of like a promotion thing to show off um, products but I had been looking at this bracelet and I really wanted one and I was excited when we got them for free. Next thing I have is actually a necklace I have had for a long time and it is my golden snitch necklace. A friend gave this to me for my birthday uh, two years ago or something like that and um, it's really pretty and like if at first you really don't uh, realize that it's a Harry Potter necklace but um, I really enjoy wearing it and I've been having this like major Harry Potter nostalgia phase lately. Like I really miss Harry Potter so um, I've started wearing this necklace a lot more than I did in the past um, just because I need, I need that little bit of magic with me. My last favorite of the month is in the movies category. For some reason I really wanted to watch all of the Disney movies, so I decided to do that. A lot of them I didn't um, remember watching. Things like Snow White and Sleeping Beauty and Cinderella, I really didn't remember those movies that much, so I decided to go back and rewatch them. It was just really fun because Disney is kind of like one of my secret obsessions. I really don't talk about it that much. So I went back and watched all of the classic princess and Disney movies. My favorite Disney movie is still Tangled and Rapunzel is still my favorite princess. I just, she's so adorable. I hope all of my American viewers are having a fantastic Independence Day. If you aren't American and don't celebrate that, have a good Thursday. That is all I've got for you guys today. My name's Christy Liu. I make videos every single Thursday. Matane! So good.